This week on Sail Away. For two years, our small family has been sailing all over the Eastern Caribbean. Now, after spending the latest hurricane season exploring western Puerto Rico, we find ourselves in beautiful Bocaron and ready to set out for round two. I don't know, this feels like we're back moving again, someplace we've never been before. This means clawing our way east against the trade winds. As we hop along the southern coast of Puerto Rico toward the U.S. Virgin Islands, the Leeward Islands and the Windwards, then onward to Colombia and Central America. But on our way, we find that Bocaron and the rest of Puerto Rico has many adventures yet to show us. We know our travels will once again be filled with Caribbean nightlife, rugged sailing, beautiful and inspiring passages, along with plenty of passage drinks, not to mention endless opportunities to explore and tons of great new friends. This is the Puerto Rico weekend, man. This is just like what you do. As we continue to learn how to live this crazy life, the good times and the difficult times as a small family on a small boat. And we can't wait to show you every bit of it. Ever wish you could escape normal life and experience more of the world? So meet me on that Well, we did just that. We sold everything we owned on dry land and sailed away. Promise me that we'll sail away. Now we are roaming the planet in search of new adventures and sharing it with you every week. Just promise me that we'll sail away. So hit subscribe and escape normal with us. And I'll be yours forevermore. Come on, it's just that little button down there. That's it. Good afternoon. We have been in Boca Raton for, I don't know, four days. We've uh, settled in, Eric's been doing some work. So today we are going to take you on a tour of the little town that we've actually really, really enjoyed. We've got some chores to do. I'm gonna go a little bit of grocery shopping. There's a, just a mini mart here. There's no grocery store. We're gonna go to the boat store and see if we can find any more fishing lures because maybe we just don't have the right fishing stuff. And then tonight we're gonna go out and just kind of do a little bit of bar hopping, a little bit of appetizers and beers at the little local bars that are there. So that's our plan for the day. This is definitely one of the more suspect docks. They're, they're solid concrete. That's, that's, that's all that matters. Not really. All right, we go. Yeah, that's smart. Just watch out for that front. Yeah. One of our main goals in this lifestyle and one of our favorite things about it is trying to get to know the places we travel to as much as we possibly can. Our first stop at Bocaron was much too brief. This time we wanted to take a moment to really walk around and check the place out, see what it had to offer. Turns out it was quite a lot. One thing we've learned about Puerto Rico in general so far is that the people here love to enjoy life. That means there's always something fun happening on shore in the evenings almost anywhere you go. 
In the case of Bocaron, it's tons of food, drinks, and lots of lively music in a very open environment. Most people were doing just what we were, sampling drinks from the bars, foods from the kioscos, and just enjoying being alive on a beautiful night in beautiful Puerto Rico. Good morning. We are headed to La Plaguera. La Plaguera? La Plaguera. Sometimes I feel like I can say it right and sometimes I feel like I can't. Uh, it's about four hours and seems like it's still day this morning. So hopefully we'll get there before the winds pick up. I think we're going to find around that corner maybe. Yeah, we're going around the corner and then down a little bit. So it's going to be like four hours. That's not too far. As we mentioned, this second lap of the Caribbean would have to start by simply getting back up wind toward the Leeward Islands. And that would start with bouncing around the very windy and very rolly tip of southwestern Puerto Rico. Back into it right here. There it was. I, I uh, lubed up our hatch too much. It just like opens and well. Well, when you go down the front of a wave like that, it opens anyway. So we are truly back underway again. I don't know. I didn't exactly feel like we were sitting in Boca Raton because really we just left the marina and didn't go that far. I don't know, this feels like we're back moving again, someplace we've never been before. And we've heard that coming around this corner of Puerto Rico is sort of like rounding Cape Horn. <laughs> you get current and wind just kind of funneling down into this point, especially the trade winds coming along the south coast. Yeah, so far it seems to be correct. We are literally rounding that corner right now, and there's just no way around it. We're just kind of motoring hard straight into the wind and waves just to get around this point. And then Las Pagueras is just like another couple hours down the coast. It's a whole series of little tiny islands and coral, mangrove. It's just really cool. He's feeling a little green. His first day back out at sea. But mommy's making it better by using you love it just as much as you always did, huh? That's right. Good boy. This upwind slog along the southern coast of Puerto Rico can be very tough, but the trick is to do it in short hops, knowing that each stop you make has something really cool to offer. And our first stop would be La Parguera, highly recommended by every local we talk to. to make one? Playa. <laughs> Cheers. Straight out of the bottle. Good passage. Ooh, quite good. Now we're going to 
Oh, it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's going to go down really fast. Yeah. Well, here we are. There's, uh, my friends. there's Rivers' friends. Apparently, they we don't get to call them our Both friends. Your friends. Well, that's Amani. That's uh, the folks we met at Puerto Real. This is Saturday, and this is a very popular spot. A uh, lot of boats flying around. Lots of jet skis. Out here, there's two sets of mooring balls. It's pretty clear which side is the chill side and which side is the party side. But yeah, otherwise it's pretty cool. Well, we have another windy and wild day here in La Paguera, our second day. And we have yet to actually go explore the main shore. Land access here is kind of the hard part. There's no real dinghy dock. There's tons of private homes with docks and a few businesses, but you can't just park at them. But there is, I guess, a spot between the mangroves next to the dive shop that you can slide into. And you can tie your dinghy up there and sort of muck your way to land. Um, what everybody does so I guess that's what we're gonna do here in a little bit and kind of check out this town I gotta say so far just from our audio experiences La Poguera out parties every other place in Puerto Rico so far it was Saturday night last night and just music blaring and then every so often just a huge litany of car horns like blaring car horns for minutes on end like a cacophony it was insane we got out of bed at one point got back here just to kind of figure out what was going on a few fireworks went off car horns car horns car horns and then they would just die down and the music would continue and then even into the night we kept hearing this uh granted we don't stay up that late we are going to go just sort of check out what's to be seen and maybe grab a little lunch This is a difficult fact of cruising life. Sometimes just getting to shore can be your biggest challenge. A lot of places simply aren't set up for shore visits by dinghy. That means sometimes you gotta get creative. How did he do that? The way to make that work. Well, we uh, went to town for just a minute and figured out why it was crazy. Apparently there was a music festival this week, past weekend. And we didn't get to experience any of it because that's just when you're traveling, you don't know until sometimes after the fact. So we've had that happen more than once where we see the flyers after the fact and we're like, oh man, we were there. We just didn't get to experience well, let's it. Let's be honest, what would we have done last night? No, we would have done the exact same thing. 
and we would have sat here and gone, oh, I bet it's so cool over there. And that's it. Uh, so yeah, we figured out the, the town. The town's pretty cool. It's kind of hard to get to, but now we're going to go to the beach and see well, how crazy that is. The party cluster. It's not really a beach. There's a couple different spots of mangroves that kind of block all the waves and they're shallow and then they just anchor their boats or moor their boats and drink all day. So we're going to go over there and pretend we're cool and see what it's all about and then probably move to the calmer spot. <laughs> This is a scene you can find in many places in Puerto Rico. Mangroves with some sandy spots, shallow enough for a good swim and to anchor, and you've got a party. It's <laughs> pretty awesome. Oh, I just love it. This is the Puerto Rican weekend, man. This is just like what you do. Let's see how deep it is. Nice. Perfect. Oh, that's good. How's water? Pretty, good. pretty cool. Are you going to do a backflip with the camera? Okay, here we go. Okay, get right on the edge. Bend over and put your hand and head straight into the water. But even though we dabbled in the party spot and soaked up the atmosphere for a little while, there's often a more low-key spot right around the corner. But even better than finding a beautiful spot like this to enjoy an amazing sunset is having some brand new friends to enjoy it with. Another of our favorite things about this cruising life. This thing got soaked today. But pretty sure my phone's still good. Yep, it's pretty cool. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, that's the whole point. Yeah, you can't tell how You're it is. You're making dinner today. Oh, I'm making dinner today. <laughs> Speaking of dinner. <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> what do you want to eat? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You want chicken? No. <laughs> <laughs> winner, winner, sausage dinner. So yeah, no. sausage. sausage. All right, let's make some. Sausage with um, mac and cheese. Okay. Who does your hair? Because it's rad. <laughs> <laughs> your hair looks funny. What's wrong about it? It's mostly behind the reefs. Just started the motor. I'm going to head to a different anchorage. This anchorage is pretty cool, but it's pretty exposed. And so Eric's got to work. Got to finish up his book this week. So we're going to go find one that's a little bit more tucked away. It should still have all the mangroves. Um, and all the fun snorkeling. So that's our plan for the day. It's been pretty cool here. It's just been, it's just been windy.
it's a short move today from here just over to there and basically we're right there and we're heading right there so not bad pretty short distance not even a couple miles it's quite a little channel you can see the the mark for where it's shallow So after weaving our way out into the Caribbean and then winding our way right back in, we found ourselves at the next of our short little hops. All right, I'm ready when you are. We're here, yay. Okay, going down. This would only be a very short stay to get a little bit of work done. And then we would be off on our next big hop to Ponce and Coffin Island. First camp today is passage drinks. Mommy, um, we're gonna do a passage drink. You're gonna do it really soon, like right now. We're doing it right now. This camp is gonna be exciting, so I just can't wait. Mommy's doing it. Is my gonna passage drinks? Okay. Um, passage drink on. Mom, what? Should we? Chest. Passage chest. You want to do chest with passage drink? Drifted away on an ocean. Yeah, we can play chess. Mm -hmm. Right now, let's, let's cheers. Mm -hmm. Although I don't know where you're going. Drifted away on an ocean. 